So now let's go ahead and produce this video for the web. I usually use an FLV video format because FLV is progressively streaming. So as soon as I have to wait around to see the video like an SWF or something else, they just click on it and it plays. And Google uses the FLV format and so we're going to use it too. Very easy to do, just go to File, Produce Video As, once again Custom Production Settings, and click Next. Click up here on the flash video and I have an option SWF or FLV. Make sure you choose the FLV option. The way you do that is go to next and you have to click on there's several tabs here at one video and when you do the flash options will be will show. And that's something that changed in Camtasia 5. It's a little more difficult to get to. It's kind of hidden here. So make sure you click on flash options and click on FLV or you'll get the SWF format. And FLV is what you want and you're going to get the player with it as well. So we'll apply that. hit OK. And here you can change the dimensions of your video. You don't want to have a real large video or it'll be slow on the web. I'll choose 480 by uh, 360. Typically in the past it's, we've always chosen 320 by 240 but the bandwidths are getting better so I go a little higher now. And at this point we can go ahead and go forward with this. Hit Next. And hit Next. Make sure you have organized produced files into subfolders and uh, show production results and play video after production and hit finish. And there you go, your video and player are processing. We're going to pause this and come back and uh, upload the files to the web. So once again after the video is processed it starts playing and you can see that flash player right here below. So let's go ahead and check that out and make sure it's gone into the appropriate place so we'll go ahead and pause that and let's go to my documents once again and we'll navigate to the Camtasia folder we'll go to our YouTube vid folder and now in addition to the video the Windows media video outside of that folder are all the Camtasia files and what you see right here is that it takes quite a few files to build that player and run that on the web but we do have everything we need to run on the web we're going to transfer all these files onto the web and actually run this directly from our web server and the most important file here is the HTML file the YouTube video blue file right here you can see it says HTML document that's the file you need to click on to make the player run let me show you I'm going to click on it and the player comes up and it starts to run let me just say one more thing. What are all these files for? And I'll just go through them just real quickly and highlight the important ones. Here's the video itself. This is the FLV, the red video. That's the actual video content. Here is the YouTube controller and preloader. These are flash files that uh, help the player work. There's some JavaScript files that help the player talk back and forth to the browser. Uh, flash, here's the flash cascading style sheet and here's the XML that kind of weaves everything together so there's a huge number of files it takes just to make this player work it's not like the old days and this is becoming so much the practice now when you put together a web project especially like flex it's not just one or two files anymore it's like a large number of files that cause that to work efficiently on the web so all I can say is you know as technology gets more complex so do the number of files go up let's go ahead and put this up on the web and we're going to use um, FileZilla to do that so let's move out of this and bring up FileZilla. I'm in FileZilla right now. We've got a lot of good uh, YouTube videos on how to use FileZilla. Just check out our basic web uh, playlist. And we're just going to put this on the server. So we'll type in our server address, www.nkuflc. That's our faculty learning uh, address, .org. We're going to put in our username and our password. and connect. So now that we're connected what we're going to do is just put a folder on the web in our public underscore HTML. Okay so what we want to do is go to the public HTML file which is right here and we're going to create a folder. So we'll hit uh, create a directory and we're going to call it just basically my uh, my video and we'll hit OK and we can see now that we have a my video folder right here 
my video folder is right here and we're going to drag all those files over into that folder and link to them on the web so let's go ahead and do that let's uh, navigate to my documents so we'll come up here and find the my documents folder and we'll look for Camtasia I'm going to open this up now great and we'll look for uh, the my YouTube vid and here's all those files that we need so we're going to uh, shift click on them and just drag them all over and drop them right into my video and now we're going to transfer all those over to the web and we can link directly to them uh, from a browser so now all our folders are uploaded to the web let's check on let's click on that folder and see that and there's all those folders we've uploaded and the HTML file is right there YouTube vid and we're going to have actually bring up a browser and navigate to that particular video and watch it play on the web. I have a browser here and the first thing I need to do of course is put in my server address. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit so we can see both of things at the same time. So bring in my server address which is www.nkuflc.org forward slash. The name of the folder was my video and then forward slash one more time to the HTML file which is you YouTube vid, I believe, dot HTML. And click that and return. And there you see it. Up comes our video and begins to play. So you've just put your video on the web. All you need to do is take this web address right here and put it in a blackboard or put it in your website and it'll bring this video right up. One more little trick you can do here is actually go to this uh, YouTube video right here, this HTML file, and rename it to index. And the uh, computer will note basically to look in the folder and grab the index plot file and play it right away. So what you're actually doing is saving your user, if, if they're going to type it in uh, to the web, saving them just a little bit of typing, which is a good idea when it comes to websites. So we'll go back again and we'll just from this browser type in www.nkuflc.org forward slash myvid and just return and once again up comes your Camtasia video and that's how easy it is to put on the web uh, thanks for watching good luck and if you have any questions go ahead and send me an email or uh, email me through YouTube